Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to Bowser's Brain Control Takeover, another classic episode. I played this once upon a time. I don't remember much about it, but I do remember that it wrecked me. So, be prepared for me to not be good at this and lots of cheating. So, I have a PDF up. Apparently this was made by Blarg, who uh, apparently hasn't appeared in a while. The only episode that Blarg made. And had Falling Snow as a co-leader, Hunter2258 as a level designer, and Red Yoshi as a beta slash graphic designer who also worked on Andrew's Spink, Andrew Spink's Terraria. Huh? Interesting. So, yeah. Bowser has kidnapped the princess once again and he's holding her hostage in his new and improved castle. I don't think this will be any ordinary Mario game. There will be challenges at every corner you turn. Guess what? Bowser has been mailing these cool new helmets to everybody's mailbox. They were actually brain-controlling helmets. He has been giving them to the toughest of enemies, so be careful. Good luck, Mario. I know you can save the princess. So, a heartbreaking story? I guess I'll start. This wasn't a heartbreaking story at all. It was silly. Bowser mailed people helmets, and they just blindly put them on and were brain-controlled. Green beginnings. Level created by Blarg. Graphical updates by Falling Snow. Okay, so this looks like an early collab then if it's going to stop and tell me who created every level. Well, it may not necessarily an early collab, but like it was apparently released in 2011. Sorry about that. Recently I tried painting something with watercolor. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes. It may not necessarily an early collab because this was released in 2007. I think Super Mario Brothers X came out in 2000. And, or no. This game was 2011. Mario, Mario Brothers X, the engine, was I think 2007. There we go. Okay, so water does exist. You will not survive! Blah! Wait, really? That, that's the secret exit? That is how you get the secret exit in this level. Okay! Okay! That, that was silly, but enjoyable. Enjoyably silly. I mean... <laughs> If you get hit after you grab the fire flower, though, you are not going to, uh, win. But, it, it just gives you a fire flower and a squid, and it's great! I love the silliness of that setup. Alright, so. But I guess I'm not meant to have a fire flower elsewhere in this level. Well, forget that level. I'm going to do what I want. Huh, interesting method of doing the exit. Item chance. Huh. Something broke. I'm not going to read you the error message, because I honestly don't care what broke or why. It's just something broke. Welcome to Game House Number 1, Item Chance. In this bonus game, you will try to earn an item. Hit one of the boxes to earn something special. Some of the boxes will kill you. Beware. Some of the boxes will kill you. What? I am staying away from there. I, I mean, at, you're, you're just picking arbitrarily. You're not making any kind of informed decision. Just at least one of these boxes will kill you. Good luck. Walk in the valley. Okay. You have nothing to say. Created by falling snow. Ow, that hurt. Oh, right. I, I mean, if you're making an uninformed decision, you can't really be said to be making a decision at all. You're just guessing blindly into the darkness and hoping for the best. Well, 
Well, this setup looks vaguely familiar. I do like the... I like these little mushroom background blocks. They're cool. Sorry, background objects. Hmm. Nothing in there except more Goombas. It's Goombas all the way down. Ah! I cannot believe that that worked out in my favor. I have the weirdest luck when it comes to this game. Excellent! At last, fire! Legitimate fire! Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. I was thinking that I was going to be forced to use one of the turtles to hop off of, and that's why there's a generator. But no, no, it's just... It's just a, uh, a thing that exists. I, I don't know what I was saying there. There's a hidden block is what I'm trying to get at. Huh, I figured that this pipe would lead somewhere considering, you know, its position. Especially considering the fact that once you get down there, it's really hard to escape. This episode... If the exits continue to follow the pattern that they have followed, it, it, it's, got, it's made some interesting choices, I tell you what. Alright. So, off I go into, uh, deep sp Ah! I nearly got stepped on by a Goomba. Goombas are for stepping upon, not for getting stepped on by. Alright, so... I don't know, I like this place aesthetically. It, it's kind of neat. Ha! I fireballed a shell that I had kicked. That, oh yes, the hammer entities. When I first saw them in Super Mario Brothers, someone else was playing. I've never made it far enough to see hammer entities in Super Mario Brothers on my own. I always wondered why they didn't duck into their shells when you jumped on them the way Koopa Troopas do. I mean, they have shells. In Super Mario Bros. 3 and Super Mario World, they were aesthetically redone significantly so as to uh, alleviate that problem. Interesting choice of level exit. Just a door back to the map. River Road. Tell me. Graphical updates by Falling Snow. Created by Blarg. And you have nothing to say. You have nothing to tell me. Oh no. Background objects that look like foreground objects. I'm sure they're more faded out so that you can, you know, if you're paying attention, tell that they... Oh, even background fish. Tell that they are offset by a distance in the water. But still, this is a weird aesthetic that is going to constantly confuse me. And I do like that the background could be an entirely different level on its own. That is cool. I love backgrounds like that. Oh, oh, nice. Trying to get me not paying attention to squids. Oh. Hold on.